Loa from Kilipoi, Kekani Loa. Uh, so, we got it flipped around and we got the tins off, the back tins off. I'm trying to remember where we left it off in the last video. And cleaned up um, underneath here a little bit. I know this is disconnected now, but um, I needed to do that to cap this pipe, which I believe was the return from the... Um, uh, from the forward hydraulics. So that's capped off because that that hose was uh, destroyed. Uh, removed all of the hydraulic hoses and capped here, which I believe this is the hydraulic supply and return for the front, well, really for all of the hydraulic um, the hydraulic implements that you might use. Uh, we did manage to get that spline off and got the stub of the fan off, so I'm going to order one of those and um, uh, just kind of tack welded the uh, shaft back together. I was trying to use these little dowels to spin it, but they didn't they didn't produce enough friction to even turn the um, the hydrostatic drive. So um, we have the engine connected to the drive shaft, the drive shaft connected to the hydrostatic drive, and all of this seems ready to go. So I will tell you, we already started it like this. Oh, what else have we done? We've also replaced the engine oil and the engine oil filter and the hydraulic um oil and the hydraulic filter this is the hydraulic oil that came out of it it's pretty nasty i have to find a a jug or two to put it into um so i think what we're going to do is we're going to start it and uh try and raise and lower the three point because to me that is what um hold on a minute. Let me Yeah, that that would indicate whether or not the hydraulic system was working. We I'll tell you, we've already done this experiment, but it didn't work, so we're going to just try it again. Uh What do you think, champ? Yeah. Shot. Yeah. Okay. So uh kill is out. Kill is on the seat. Uh, I am a little wary of that weld, but we're just running it at idle. It is just barely tacked on there. Well, not barely. It's four good size tacks, good penetration welds. So contact. That's that starter has been damaged from that uh, over compressing cylinder. So we're spinning pretty good. Jeff is going to try putting the for lever forward. Forward? No, no. The lever. Yeah, that's all the way forward and then all the way back. That, I believe, is the PTO raised and lowered. You can see the PTO is not going up and down. So, the other thing we did... That's in its neutral position now. Put the hydrostatic control in forward. Give it a little bit of pedal. And you see we're moving. And we're in four wheel drive. Or maybe that shaft just moves all the time. I think that jab just moves all the time. Uh, back in the neutral. Now I am going to try the steering just a little bit. And it is steering. A very light, easy turn steering. Now I don't want to steer too much because. 
mods are just totally trash. But that's nice. Steering. Okay, so the you know hydrostatic drive after doing that, it's pretty warm. So yeah, it definitely needs that fan. The control valve up here is pretty toasty. And not toasty, just just warm. And I would say the uh, hydraulic pump is bordering on hot. So what say you, Internet? Should I have the bypass pin in here? Is that why the hydraulic pump is getting hot? And because it can't, it's just basically at maximum temperature. Um, yeah, too bad about that starter. Brand new, 188 bucks. Um, I can get, well, the... Uh, Massey Ferguson has a part number for that um, ring gear in there. If anybody knows where to get one, I would appreciate hearing about it. Um, I am going to try buying one for a Honda because this, so this middle section here, this planetary reduction is also used in Hondas and Toyotas, Honda Fit and a few others. So I'm going to try getting a a replacement for a Honda. They're expensive. They're like 56 bucks, whereas the Massey Ferguson one is uh, only $20, $27. But of course, if you can't buy it, doesn't matter how cheap it is. So there we stand. Questions for the internet. Why don't the hydraulics work? Is it because of that bypass? Let me know. And thank you for watching. Aloha.